Hello my students, grade 7 SMPK Kenabur. We meet again to continue our physics lesson with the material acids, bases, and salts. The basic competence 3.3 describe the concept of mixture and pure substance, physical and chemical properties, physical and chemical changes in our daily life. To continue our lesson, let's start with the new part, basis. The learning objective. After learning this lesson, the students 1. Can describe the characteristic of basis. 2. Classify the basis. Today's materials are 1. Characteristic of bases, which consists of physical and chemical properties, and also strong and weak bases. 2. The nomenclature of bases. Here you will learn how the bases form from reaction between basic oxide with water. 3. The application of bases. Here the application of bases in our daily life. Okay, let's begin the material. The first we will learn about the definition of bases. According to Arrhenius, he is the Swedish scientist, bases are substances that dissolve to generate hydroxide ions into solution. The properties of bases. The first is physical property of bases. Generally, bases taste bitter when they dissolve in water. And about the electrical conductivity, molten bases dissociate in ions and conduct electricity. Therefore, bases are electrolyte substances, or the substance that can conduct electricity. pH or the degree of acidity and alkalinity of bases are greater than 7. The other physical property of bases, when we touch bases, they feel slimy or soapy in our hands. Bases turn red litmus paper and don't change blue litmus paper. It means when we immerse the red litmus paper in molten base, the color will turn to blue. But when we use the blue litmus paper, the color will not change. Bases will turn the phenolphthalein from colorless to pink or red. And bases turn the metal orange from red to yellow. The chemical properties of bases is about reaction with water, reactivity, and reaction with acids. Reaction with water. Bases react with water and they dissociate to be a cation and an anion. Look at the formula. For example, sodium hydroxide in water, sodium hydroxide will dissociate to be sodium as a cation and hydroxide ion as an anion. Barium hydroxide in water will dissociate to be barium as the cation and the hydroxide ion as an ion. Bases reactivity Concentrated or strong bases are caustic or corrosive on organic metals and react violently with acidic substances. Reaction with acids Bases react with acids to form salt and water. This reaction is called neutralization. Look at the formula. The red color is acid, the blue color is base, and the purple is salt, and next, the black color is water. So, when acids react with bases, the result are salt and water. Look at the example. Chloride acid 
plus sodium hydroxide will produce sodium chloride and water. Based on the capability of being ionized in water, bases classify into strong bases and weak bases. Strong bases are the bases that dissociate completely in solution to yield hydroxide ions. Or you can say strong bases are fully ionized. The weak bases are the bases not fully ionized in water or just partially ionized. The examples of strong bases Potassium hydroxide, barium hydroxide, and sodium hydroxide. The example of weak bases, ammonia, methylamine, and ammonium hydroxide. The nomenclature of bases. Here we will learn about how the bases formed from reaction with water. For example, manganese oxide as the basic oxide. If react with water, the base that form is manganese hydroxide. Sodium oxide as the basic oxide with react with water, the base that produce is sodium hydroxide. Lithium oxide as the basic oxide if react with water, the base that produces lithium hydroxide. Calcium oxide as the basic oxide, with react with water, the base that produces calcium hydroxide. Magnesium oxide as the basic oxide, if react with water, the base that produces is magnesium hydroxide. The last part of this material is the application of bases. Ammonia As a raw material in producing the following substances Fertilizer, medicines, nitrogen compound, and color enhancers Caustic soda The application of caustic soda for neutralizing acids as a raw material in producing the following substances such as soap, detergent, pepper, and rayon fiber. And caustic soda is also for separating sulfur in crude oil. The application of magnesium oxide. Because it's hard and resistant to fire, the magnesium oxide is used as furnace coating. The application of magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide used as an antacid for neutralizing acid in our digestive system. Another application of bases, you can find it by searching the internet. After viewing this video, do the exercise. 1. Write the physical properties of bases. 2. Write 5 examples of strong bases and weak bases. Ok students, this is the end of our lesson. If you have any question, please ask your teacher and study harder. Don't forget to pray so this pandemic is ending soon. Stay safe and healthy. See you in the next material. God bless you.